Right, good afternoon, and uh, wifey's out tonight, so I thought I'd pop upstairs and uh, potter around for a little bit. I have finished the pipe block by Museum Miniatures, which I um, started last week. I've had this week off work, so um, I've had a bit of time to myself. And uh, so it's 48 figures strong. 24 figures to a base. And this is for to the strongest. Uh, very nice figures to paint. Very easy to paint. Um, obviously painting 15 mil figures is a bit different to painting 28s where the, um, the contrasts are um, heavier. Uh, because uh, you obviously feel that for much further away. So um, it takes a bit of time getting used to it. But uh, that looks too bad all lined up. And that's the, the fifth pipe block up. Done for Macedonians. So it's over there. Uh, in the post today, I received some more ancient reinforcements. Again from Museum Miniatures. And this time... It is a unit of Indian cataphracts or Indian armoured cavalry. Um, again, from the Museum Miniatures Z range. And these are lovely figures. I've given them a base coat of army painted chainmail spray from a rattle can. And um, the detail on these are 15, is absolutely superb. There's only two poses. But uh, I'm very, very impressed by those. I've kept the, I wouldn't know how we call these bits, these here reinforcement, reinforcing struts, because the ankles do seem just a little on the, not thin side, but they're a bit, they're a bit wobbly. I took, I snipped a couple of them off, but I thought no, um, I'll just keep them to help with the. Uh, well, you know what it's like when they take a few knocks on the table. So that's that's those. Looking forward to painting those. I think the. I'd imagine it's white metal. The the armor. I might put a few bronzy brass colors in there. Maybe. But maybe a bit of horn armour. Um, so I don't want to do all that chainmail effect. Just break it up a little bit. But uh, there's no flesh showing on the figures. So it's just the horse flesh and, and that's it. So it uh, should be quite a, an easy unit to paint up. Uh, while I was waiting for those to arrive in the post. I've just started basing up these eight World War II figures. To bolster my slowly growing bolt action army my German belt action army. And these figures are from Artisan. And I enjoy painting up these very much. They've got some very nice facial features. What's that on his hand? Right down there. Um, let's see, I've got to scratch it off. That's a bit of plaster, or a bit of filler. Oh, that's come off there. So it's eight figures. I chose these because I've already got some Crusader miniatures, uh, Germans with great coats, but I lacked some Panzerfausts. So that's why I bought these ones. And um, yeah, very nice indeed. Good faces on these to paint. Depends if that's there. The colours for the great coats was uh, now what was it? It's uh, Plastic Soldier Company Field Grey Rattle Can as an undercoat. Then it was a I painted all the equipment. Then it was apart from the face. I painted everything apart from the faces. Then I gave an overall wash of null oil and the great coats were then dry brushed 
with a field grey with added white. And the equipment was, some was dry brushed, some was painted, just to get through them. That's those, and they they match up with the, where are they? Uh, I've got a figure by Crusader here. And so, a bit about there, won't it? So the artisan is slightly heavier, but there's hardly a difference. So you can easily match those in. In fact, I've got some painted Germans here by Crusader. I painted them the same style. And let's choose that one. Not a huge amount of difference. It'll do nicely. And also from Artisan are some uh, Germans, I think with Panzer, Panzer Shreks uh, in the late war uniform, which I can mix in as well. So that's that. Um, got a game down the club this weekend of To the Strongest. Uh, my Ancient Indians and Macedonians are getting their first run out. Uh, so it's been a long time coming, I think it's been about a year uh, for their first game and I'm looking forward to that and I don't know if I showed you this before but I picked this up from a pet shop I thought that looked fairly eastern so we can use that as a um, terrain piece for the game I think it only cost me about seven quid from pets to go whatever it was it was called um, so it might come in handy, and that's the, oops, that's the scale of it, so, yes, maybe, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching.